Now, we get loads of uh, letters on this show, very angry ones from people who say that we don't do enough um, affordable cars, you know, family cars. One particularly angry caller last week rang the BBC duty log saying we were a disgrace. Well, Mr Needham, check this out. That is the new Vauxhall Corsa. And uh, moving on now... <laughs> uh, we've had a number of complaints about last week's show. People said it was cruel to blow up a cow. Um, well, I want to make it absolutely plain, right now, no cow was hurt in the making of that film. Its death was instantaneous. Yeah. <laughs> so you wouldn't have felt it immediately, wouldn't it, no? Right, next. And if you want to write to the BBC and say this is some rare type of tree and has to be preserved, you can stick it up your arse. Nah. All those people who write in and say, you're only interested in expensive cars, you're damn right. The new Lamborghini <laughs> Bayonne. <laughs> this has got a V10 5-litre... I'm going to have to go to the lavatory if I have to say <laughs> V10 5-litre engine again. I took a Ferrari to this road, OK, and I said that even though this was just 40 miles from London, in Hertfordshire, <laughs> <laughs> there was no traffic at all and you could still enjoy it in the Ferrari that I was using. Well, we have been inundated with complaints, and I do mean inundated. No, there have been a lot. A lot, and people were absolutely furious. How dare the BBC say this is Hertfordshire? It plainly isn't. Yeah. Well, you're right. I admit it and I apologise. That is not Hertfordshire. It's Buckinghamshire, actually. It's... <laughs> Nevertheless, well spotted all of you for yeah. seeing that. You were on the ball there. Hey, I'm sure a lot of you saw the... Patagonia special, and I want to admit here and now in front of everybody, I made a terrible, terrible mistake. Uh, nobody knows I'm going to do this, not the producers, nobody. But I want to get it off my chest now. Um, uh, right in the middle of the programme, I said that the condor is the largest flying bird in the world. <laughs> it isn't. It's the wandering albatross, and I'm deeply, deeply sorry. Oh, well done for getting that off your chest. Well, uh, it's better. It's nice to have it out in the open. I feel better. I feel better. Oh, yeah. that's right. Move on. Right. Now, talking of getting in touch, we had a number of people after last week's show got in touch to complain. They did. We had, well, I said something about a Muslim, OK? Two complaints. You remember Jesus came last week? I he talked did. to him. <laughs> Three complaints. We were slightly rude about caravans. Yeah, we sort of set one on fire a bit. 150 complaints. <laughs> Seriously. 150, and lots of people are now demanding an apology. They are. So, um, we really are sorry, and we promise that we will, all three of us, never, ever go caravanning again. No, 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 no. I'm sorry we didn't burn more caravans. You're right, so am I. Yeah, that's true. Right. There's the... You know we accidentally lit pipes last week? A bit. A hysterical woman who runs some hysterical organisation has got thin lips, the sort who take their own lunch to work. You know the sort? <laughs> She got in touch and she pointed out, having demanded an apology from the BBC, she pointed out that you can't smoke anything now in the studio, anything. It doesn't matter if it's herbal, it doesn't matter if it's tobacco, you're not allowed to... Which means it is now illegal to inhale the Mayor of London if he's on fire. Oh, that's blown it. Uh, now, as you know, we get uh, quite a few uh, letters of complaint on Top Gear, and... A lot of them are from communists and hippies, obviously, yeah. so we just ignore them. <laughs> anyway, look, last week, OK, we thought nobody would be watching because that epic tennis match was on, which... We were all watching. Which we were watching, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it turns out that one person was watching Top Gear and, boy, is he an eagle-eyed chap. Eagle-eyed chap isn't what you called him when his letter arrived, mate. No, I called him something smaller and fruitier than that, yes. nevertheless. <laughs> he says, OK, he was watching the show and I was driving an Alfa Romeo along the road, and he says, and he hasn't just complained to the BBC, he's complained to the police about this, that I clipped a double white line. Well, here's the, here's the footage. There, yeah. Ooh. Okay. I mean, it's... That bloke should have been at Wimbledon, actually, with those sort of... <laughs> Crossing the white line spotting skills. Uh, anyway, it does appear I'm banged to rights, and, uh, you know, I think apologies uh, where apologies are necessary. I'm very sorry. Uh, I shouldn't have done it. I'm normally very uh, fastidious about that sort of thing, but uh, there we are. I'm a mistake. Good job I'm not a brain surgeon. Um, <laughs> um, what is interesting, however, is that the number of people who rang up and complained about me driving the Land Rover Discovery up a mountain is this long.
That's a lot. That's how many people complained. The number of people who complained about us not wearing poppies? That's no. <laughs> that, no not not one. Right. So hang on, that means nobody bothered to complain that we haven't commemorated our fallen soldiers, the people who gave us freedom to do what we no. want, but then they write in to complain that you've... What, run over some moss? Yeah, or that's basically it. It's a weird I've world. killed moss. <laughs> it's a strange world we live in, isn't it? Really? Weirdest world in the world. In fact, I think I might drive up it again next week. <laughs> uh, right, new. Now, the time has come, I fear. Um, uh, lots of complaints after last week's programme. Um, internet kind of awash with hate, people demanding an apology, and I'm only too happy to give one. Um, I am very sorry that I didn't put the GT2's time on the board. <laughs> Actually, I want to, uh, while we're on the subject of this, last week James did talk about touching people inappropriately, OK? Uh, and the Daily Star, in an editorial, says that we've upset the Scout and the Catholic Church, and they say that we can add those two august organisations to other people we've offended, including lorry drivers, Scots, Malaysians, <laughs> Germans, blind people, anti-hunt protesters and smokers. And I'm sorry, but this... This sort of gutter press claptrap gets just so far up my nose. How dare they? How dare they suggest that we would be rude to smokers? <laughs> and first of all, uh, last week we featured a motorcycle, a BMW, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. a BMW in, uh, in your Ariel Atom film, and we've had a number of complaints that we didn't give enough information about it. So, James, would you like to address that? Yes, indeed, bikers. It has a, uh, a cable-operated anti-hopping clutch. Lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, uh, if you are a German and you have any complaints about the film you've just seen, though, do please feel free to, uh, to write to us. Our address is 1966 <laughs> El Alamein Square, 1939 to 1945, Jutland Street, <laughs> London, WE1. <laughs> Again. Fine. Now, this has... This has enraged the Morris Marina Owners Club. The what? Morris Marina Owners Club. <laughs> Ever heard of an organisation you want to be a member of less than that? <laughs> what I've got here are some of the things they've been saying on the Morris Marina Owners Club website. <laughs> Top Gear can eat <laughs> and die. <laughs> Strong. Clarkson and his cronies should be hung, drawn and quartered, or is that too good for them? Should be two T double O, just small point. <laughs> this just goes on and on. I, this is one of my favourites. I will send the BBC an email and I don't care if they don't read it. <laughs> well, they did. <laughs> well, you have. They really are very, very angry, aren't they? Can I just say, we, joking aside, we don't like to upset any member of our audience, no matter how mad they might be, OK? <laughs> So we undertake never to destroy another Morris Marina as long as we are on the air. And, and in fact, we've gone one better than that because just this week we have been out and we have bought another Marina, OK? And um, it's a beauty. It really is, absolutely. Low mileage, leather seat. No, there's no woo about it. Leather seats. We brought it down. We've got it here. Look, this is live feed out to our track. And that is going to be preserved as an example of what... Oh, God! <laughs> I know. Piano on it. How this unlucky is... was that? This is happening all the time. Now, it's always happening at our track. It rains pianos yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, they were. Actually, there's, uh, there's been a lot of internet activity on the Morris chat room. I'm going to send an email to the BBC, and I don't care if they don't read it. <laughs> now, that's what they said last time, OK? This time, getting worse. They said they're going to get physical. <laughs> I'm quoting now. One of them says, and I'm not making this up, if I see Jeremy Clarkson in the street, I will poo into my hand and throw it at him. <laughs> well, they'll poo into their own yes. house. That's a stupid way of getting someone. It's like an assassin lining up on the target and shooting them through his own head. It's <laughs> revolting. Uh, right, oh, yes. Every week, the Daily Mirror uh, runs a story saying that we've done something unspeakable. Uh, you know, we've stolen all the army's helicopters, or we've accidentally clubbed an old lady to death with a baby seal. <laughs> this week, OK, the story they chose, to, uh, they chose to run with was this. OK, uh, here it is. Big story saying that uh, 
homosexuals are banned from the Top Gear studio audience. Now, seriously, honestly, I've never read such rubbish in my life, ever. Now, it is true that we are an even split of men and women in the audience. Otherwise, it's a little bit like the early days when we only got the Subaru Owners yes. Club, and that's a bit grisly. But we do not actually insist that you sleep with the person you come to the studio with. No, I mean, often, you know, mums come down with their, with their sons, and we're not suggesting that... You know, no, that's, no, no, we're not. But with, everybody's welcome. Exactly. Uh, the truth is, we welcome homosexual couples here. We do. We particularly like the lesbian sort. Oh, God. <laughs> How many people here enjoyed the ambulance film we did last week? Yeah. 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 OK, you see, the problem we have is that um, we've had an electronic communication from a man called Mr. E36 Man 4000, who says, Dear so-called Top Gear, I hated your thing on ambulances. Why don't you stick to cars? <laughs> Shall we show Mr. What's he called? Mr. Hashtag. Shall we show him what this show would be like if we just talked about cars? Yeah, yeah all right. right. Okay. Let's do it. Right. I tell you what I drove this week. Volkswagen Passat diesel. Did you? Mmm. <laughs> Surprisingly comfortable. <laughs> I also drove an Audi TT, which is much nicer than you'd think. <laughs> Actually, I've been driving the new Porsche 911 Turbo, mm -hmm. which is very fast, but surprisingly quiet. Ooh. Is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, Aston Martin have built a new one-off for a Bond film. It's called the DB10. Yep. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think much of that, actually. I don't, I don't like the way it looks. No, I don't. No, I do. Okay. Um, Vauxhall has a new kind of Corsa. <laughs> i got nothing on that. <laughs> Shall we give up on car news?